Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to look at a mag made by Slick. Now, this is an older mag. It's a 4151, and you'll see that because I'm going to... I've already taken a picture of this, and we're going to expand it so you'll see it in the video, the data tag. It's a lot different than it... So how's that for an old tag on a mag? Pretty old. And here's a close-up. Is in the mags today. So this is a very old mag. No good for core, but we're just going to take it apart so you can see all the bits and pieces. Now, in the mag, you have the pieces that hold the cap on, and there are three screws that hold the distributor cap for taking the wires out to the spark plugs. Then on top of that, we have a cap that we're going to remove now. That would be the theory. Thank you. That's good. Let's start that over. You can cut that in. Yeah. Start talking again. Oh, okay. And then here we are just taking the cap off. Yeah, thanks, Matt. I don't have my little mag holding stand. Out with the screws. That would be the theory. Another screw there. And there's probably one right here underneath this goo. Yep, get all the warranty stuff out of here so they can tell if you ever worked on your mag. And they're going to tell that we've worked on this mag now because we broke the uh, seal. That's the seal there twisting around. Oh, there's a screw down here. This one right here. That one's going to be fun to get. There we go. You know, I think I'm going to... that out first? Well, the, i got to take it loose from the inside. i got to get it open to get it out. So I may have to get a... I'm going to have to... Pause. Pause, yeah. And then, like Rex said, one of the screws is short. So we're getting the bottom screw out. It's kind of difficult. We got a smaller screwdriver. And like when Rex was here taking, showing you how to work on the mags, it is the short screw to go with the three longer ones. And so here's the top. Now we're going to go ahead and remove. This is where our coil is, or condenser as it's called here, and your distributor cap built in to the top. So that's what all that's about. Now this does come out, well, it used to, it'll, it'll come out of there, but um, we're not going to take it out. We're just showing what the top looks like. And so as you can see, we've taken the condenser out, which is really a capacitor, same thing. But anyway, we screwed it out, and that's what we'll just add this into the video. Then you have your distributor cap gear, the rotor that runs around for firing. It comes off. We have the little block that holds it across right here. When it's all together, we have the driving gear. Oh, that's not going to pop off so easily. While we're here, let's take loose the coil. There we go, the coil, and then we got to get these plugs out. This is the part that's always so much fun, getting these wedges out, and that was kind of easy. That one was kind of easy. Yeah, that was kind of nice. By the way, I'd like to remark here, when you go to get up, when you have a magneto, if it's a slick magneto, it doesn't matter which magneto you have for what engine you have, all the magnetos... If you look in the maintenance manual of the Slick Magnetos, all these mags use exactly the same part number coil. So this is the coil for any mag, and this particular coil was made April 25th, 1979. So there, got some goo on it too. So there's the coil. And here are the pins to hold the coil in place. And then, of course, then we have our fun job right here. We have our points in place on the magneto. And I'm not going to bother taking that. I just wanted to show you the, the magneto. Take them out? No, point them out. Point them out. 
So the point, I'm pointing out the points right here. There are, let me get this. Let me get this shaft. Let me get this the shaft real quick. Okay. So as you can see here, the points that open and close. There's your points. When this little shaft turns and opens them up right here to fire. And that's how the points go. And then what you have left is the bottom casting, a vent for altitude, and this is a left mag because there's your impulse couple and the gear that goes to the engine. So again, this mag is no good for a core, even though the coil might be salvageable for another aircraft. Um, these are always nice to hang on to because people have them, but let's just lay all the parts out and we'll show you all the parts and then I'll be able to take a still picture from that and get all these pens laid out right. Two sets of gears. The gear support, the top and the bottom. Oh, I want to take that whole shaft out. No, I don't. I don't want to take the impulse couple loose. There we go. It's okay to spin it now because I won't get shocked if it coils out. So these are this is what makes up your mag. And even in the older mags, like this one, we have the same number of pieces, uh, different part numbers, and maybe a different style. The case is definitely different. But this just goes to show you what all the pieces of the magneto can do and how to take one apart. Not that you're ever going to do one, but a lot of people just are curious. Hopefully this will solve that for you so you won't be a curious George quite so much anymore. So we hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks for watching, and have a good day flying your drumming. And thanks to Shot Monkey for holding the camera. Look for this link on a GPA page to support us. Thank you very much for your support.